In the new film, The F Word, Wallace, played by Daniel Radcliffe, a name you might recognize, meets Chantry, the girl of his dreams. The problem is she's someone else's girl in real life. Well, the delightful romantic comedy opens across Canada August 22nd, but we are thrilled to have the film's director, Michael Douse, and screenwriter Elan Masai in the BT studio this morning. Welcome. I love this movie. I really, really loved it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I got all gushy. I I, I even cried. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler, but I did. I that's cried. kind of the goal. We want people to laugh. We want people to cry. It's an uh, emotional uh, roller coaster. Yeah, and you want the emotions to sneak up on people. You know, you want them to be laughing and laughing and laughing, and then be surprised at the emotional weight that builds up, sort of without them noticing it. Now, Michael, we uh, know you from uh, the Fubar movies. Yep. We know you from Goon. I don't think I've ever referred to one of your films um, as lovely. I, love, <laughs> I mean, I really, I love Come on, your they're movies. Lovely. I do. They're but really lovely. Is it? Is it okay to say that this is a departure for you? Yeah, it, like a very conscious departure for me to go and do something completely different after doing a really violent hockey movie. I just wanted to do something much quieter and, and try to flex a different muscle as a director and, and do something that was emotional and, uh, and try and get that sort of, that, that, that cry reflex going in. Yeah. So that was a big challenge for me. Uh, and cry I did. It worked on you. Yeah, what attracted you to this particular story and, and this particular script? Well, both of you. For me, I mean, I just loved, I loved the script. Alon did a great job writing it, and, and I, I loved the slow boil. It was a very simple story, but it was a very emotional slow boil to even the script. And, and I loved uh, his voice and, and the sense of humor that was in the, in the script. Yeah, and for me, you know, I like to say that I did a lot of research on this movie from ages 15 to 25. <laughs> for sure. You know? And, you know, you go through things in your life, and you're trying to figure it all, but th looking back on the mistakes you've made and the boneheaded situations you've gotten yourself into, and uh, maybe a way of justifying them and making them, you know, make it be other than just sort of a miserable heartbreak is to write about them and, and, and find the comedy in them as well as the drama. So you kind of exercise some demons, but hopefully the movie doesn't feel like a diary entry. It feels like a piece of entertainment that can get people to laugh and <laughs> think about the things that they're going on in their own lives. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I want to talk about the whole cast because I think, I mean, you guys did an incredible job. The supporting cast is amazing. But we have to talk about Daniel Radcliffe. Um, this is also a real departure for him. How did he come to be involved in this project? We just sent him the script. We, I wrote him a letter. We sent him the script, and uh, it was very quick. He turned, he read it very quickly, and I was meeting with him very quickly. Within three weeks, he was on the project. So we were very fortunate to get him, uh, and he sort of was a cornerstone that we built the rest of the cast. Uh, but he's great. I mean, I think the thing people take away from this film is he's funny. He's a really funny guy, and yeah. I think it's the first time he's been able to showcase that. Well, and he said he's been he was able to inject a lot of his own humor into that. What yeah. what was it like for you watching? Harry Potter bring your script to life. I mean, it's obviously a little surreal, at, right, like in the very beginning. But he, he's such a pro. All of our cast, Zoe Kazan, I'm Driver, Mackenzie Davis, you know, Megan Park, they're all such pros. Mm -hmm. So you kind of forget all that stuff. Uh, you know, I just once you've been working together for a couple days, and they just become the actor and then the character. And so, of course, when, when I'm sitting alone at home, possibly in sweatpants, writing the movie, I never imagined Daniel Radcliffe would be starring in it. But he, like Mike, when he first read the script, Daniel got the movie and the sense of humor and the tone right away, and it, we just fell right into it. You didn't sit at home watch, wearing a wizard hat? I, I can't comment on that on live television. We don't talk about wizards. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. no. Um, I, and again, I can't emphasize enough that the entire cast is, is amazing. Yeah. Uh, Toronto also has a starring role, which I found refreshing because yeah. often I know Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, Calgary, right. they double for other cities. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't want to hide it that it was Toronto. And I think these great sort of rom coms really feature their setting in their city as a character in the film itself like mm -hmm. when Harry met Sally or Manhattan obviously it's you know they're they're featured and, and uh, we wanted I wanted to provide that context and I just think Toronto is like a huge multicultural beautiful city that really gets a really cold feel in most other films and we wanted to to set it there and not hide it at all you know people fall in love in Toronto too <laughs> it turns out yes yeah begrudgingly and you know, I mean, Toronto recently overtook Chicago as the fourth biggest city in North America, and we felt like it's it's ready to right. just be itself. And we found like Canadians are like, oh wow, that's really nice. But and people around the world have seen the movie. It's very matter of fact. They're like, oh cool, it's Toronto. Like, yep. They think it's interesting, and, and they, you know, for them, it's just another setting that people could fall in love in. Well, I fell in love with this film. I, I can't say enough about it. Opens uh, here in our city, across the country, August 22nd. Go out and see it. It is the F word. Gentlemen, thank you so much for thank coming you. by today. Thank you. Thanks for having us.